The Foster Bunkum Show. Brought to you by Munson's Floor Wax Company. And starring noted expert Professor Foster Bunkum. With today's special guest, Cassius King from Radio KRFH. of today can look more beautiful than ever thanks to Munson's Floor Wax. New Munson's Floor Wax is brighter than ever, brighter than any. Munson's Floor Wax, available in the home care aisle of your favorite store. Try Munson's Floor Wax on your linoleum today. I know the professor's wife uses Munson's Floor Wax in her home, and she's one happy housewife, which makes him one happy husband. And that happy husband is signaling that he's ready to start the show. So here he is, Professor Foster Bunkum. Today we have something a little different. I was recently interviewed by Cassius King of Radio KRFH in his studio. We chatted about Trinidad history. That's Trinidad, California. And here's that interview. Cassius King here. I'm sitting with the noted expert Professor Foster Bunkum, who has a fascinating story about one of Trinidad's historic sawmills. Uh, yeah, thank you, Cash. Uh, may I call you Cash? That's fine. Well, Cash, this story takes place in 1875. A couple of brothers by the name of Hooper bought out a couple of local sawmills and formed their own Trinidad Mill Company. They eventually converted the Mill Creek operation from water uh, to steam power, which was a major technological improvement for the time. And I understand they used scrap wood to fire the big boilers? Oh, oh yeah, and there was plenty of scrap wood from the milling operations, cheap and efficient. But it was safe? Well, that depends on who you ask. Once, in the late 1870s, a boiler exploded in the mill. Uh-oh. Was anyone hurt? Well, fortunately, no, even though the boiler blew clear out of the back of the mill and landed on the bank across the ravine behind that mill and stuck in the mud. A Yurok worker who had been handling slabs near the boiler when it exploded was also blown out of the mill, but he wasn't hurt. Scared, I'm sure, but not hurt. That's amazing. Well, when the man returned to the site of the accident after about a week, he refused to go in the mill saying, white man smokehouse, no good. And he never returned again. Yeah, I'm not sure I can blame him. There you have it, folks. Another moment in Trinidad history. Tune in again next time for more of the Foster Bunkum Show.